Hi there. <laughs> you must be my new client. It says here you're trying to get some medication for a case of the giggles. <laughs> yep. Gotcha. We're going to mark it down as a severe case. So then we'll actually start you on a medication and you're going to take it bi-weekly. Got it? Goodness, I need to run off to my next client, but the reception desk will have that medication shipped to your nearest pharmacy. And um, let's say I'll see you back here in three months. Okay, perfect. Toodaloo. Hi there. <laughs> back again so soon, am I right? So, how has the medication worked for the giggling? Well, you see, at the beginning of the two weeks, the medication works great and I stop giggling. <laughs> but then we get closer to the end of the two weeks and uh, woo, it starts right back up again. <laughs> you said at the beginning of the week, um, so are you taking the medication Monday and Wednesday? Um, <laughs> no, um, the beginning of the two weeks, I've been starting on Wednesday since that was the day I <laughs> picked it up from the pharmacy. <laughs> I, uh, I prescribed 50 milligrams bi-weekly. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, doctor, uh, bi-weekly, once every two weeks. Twice a week twice a week, once every two weeks, <laughs> once every two weeks, <laughs> once every two weeks. <laughs> So there we have it. Bi-weekly has two meanings. One being twice a week, as seen in the presentation that we can take a medication twice a week, or bi-weekly can mean every two weeks. An example being our paychecks can be bi-weekly. This aspect of language is known as lexical ambiguity, which is the presence of two or more possible meanings for a single word. This occurs frequently. One example being young. This is lexical ambiguity because it has two different meanings. One, to have lived a, for a short period of time. In a sentence, this would sound like two young children are playing at the park. Or it can also mean an animal's offspring. Found in a sentence, the dinosaur's offspring has sharp teeth. The final example in this presentation is bank. And whew, now this lexical ambiguity has more than two possible meanings if you want to look it up, um, but right now I've listed three common ones here. We have the bank of a river, heard in a sentence, let's cool down by the bank, or a plane or vehicle tilting sideways. I always think of the movies when the pilot says, bank left, bank left. And finally, a financial bank, commonly heard in my home when I say, ah oh, dang, I need to go deposit a check at the bank. <laughs> Thank you for watching the short film, the bi-weekly presentation, directed, written, and starred by yours truly, Maya Badman, and listening to this short presentation on the aspects of lexical ambiguity. This presentation is in correspondence with the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences at Arizona State University for the Nielsen Humor Scholarship Award. Thank you!